Okay, there we go. Now we can actually take control. So, first off, let's just have a little look at the controls. Um, so, thankfully, this uh, is uh, dual shock compatible, even though it's a. Uh, I don't know if it's. I guess, yeah, the dual shock controller would have been out by then. What I'm saying is you can control the uh, camera and movement with the sticks. You know, because trying to control it with the movement with a d-pad that would be a bit of a pain um, although you can and you hold down circle to run or you just run automatically with the uh, stick okay so press select that seems to zoom out and give us a map now uh, it looks like the green markers are people it's quite a lot of NPCs whether we need to speak to everyone or oh, god knows um, and it looks like the red square is us Bird's eye view map, kind of hard to tell, well not too hard, but the buildings kind of don't stand out greatly from the uh, the um, pavement where you'd be walking, but um, right, so we'll pull that back down. Now I'm going to, the compass up in the top right, I'm going to assume red is kind of north. Um, what the pointer is, it just seems to be spinning around slowly at the moment. Maybe that's of more use later. Anyway, what else we got? Um, so, start brings up the options, which we don't need to mess around with. Um, triangle brings up the menu. We'll have a proper look at that in a second. Um, L and R1 also uh, rotate the camera. Right, if you hold circle, you seem to zoom out a little bit. If you hold square, you zoom in a little bit. Okay, so. First impressions. Justin and Sue, two friends. Basically little kids. Um, get the impression maybe Justin's like a year or two older than Sue. Um, not just because he's taller than her either. But, you know, they're friends otherwise. Hard to kind of judge exactly how old they are. I would say, at the very max, what Justin's probably like 14, 15 tops. Um, Sue, assume she's like 12 or 13, maybe. Hard to say. Right, so, in interesting thing about Sue is the thing that was attached to the back of her head is actually a creature that goes by the name of Puffy that makes a strange little noise. We'll be looking forward to hearing that again. Seemingly it can fly. Um, kind of hard to describe what it looks like, really. I mean, it's a small flying creature. Kind of a bug-like, bird-like. I mean, it looks like it could be a, a Pokemon, for crying out loud. Um, maybe we'll get some more details on Puffy later. So, what they're doing is we've, um, no, before we get into that, let's have a look at the menu, see what's what in there. Okay, so, at the very top in the middle, we've got gold PCS. I only assume that stands for gold pieces, of which we have 200. Um, our options at the top left, we've got items, equip, magic, moves, and status. Let's try uh, status first. So there we go. So it drops down to Justin and Sue. So Justin's level two, Sue's level one. Let's click on Justin for a minute. Okay, so we've got stats, strength, vitality, wit, and agility. Can only speculate about what they do. Um, strength is going to be physical damage, no doubt. Vitality, physical defense. Wit. Magical damage, magical defense, I don't know. Agility, evasion, or accuracy, or both, I don't know. Okay, so uh, we'll look at the equip slots in a minute. So you've got weapon types, which you level up. Um, I do remember one cool thing about Grandia, is you level up as you use your items and your, as you use your weapons and your magic it gets better so you can kind of focus on one particular thing to get better at it or you can um 
you know, spread out and kind of try and learn a little bit of everything. Now, I think when you level up a weapon type or a magic type, you uh, get extra stat bonuses on top of that. Uh, presumably on top of that weapon or magic type getting stronger in and of itself. I don't know for certain. If anyone does know and wants to leave a comment down below, I would appreciate it. Always happy to learn new things. Okay, so... We seem to have substats on the right there, which are attack, defense, ACT, action, who knows, and MOV, move. So maybe action is how quick, kind of like a, a speed stat, how quickly you can uh, attack in combat, and movement is how far you can move in combat within one turn, possibly. I am just completely speculating at the minute. Okay, we've also got hit points. That's a no-brainer. Every game has hit points. And SP, presumably special points. I believe SP is um, related to your weapon skills. Okay, what else have we got? So, total XP, 16. Next, 35. Now, does that mean we need to get from 16 to 35? Or do we need another 35? Meaning, total of 51 to get the next level i don't know doesn't really matter okay and finally status good i believe that's for um effects like poison petrify defense up or down or whatever okay not too much else to say um okay and you can jump between them by hitting the uh bumpers or shoulder buttons now looks like Justin's stats are significantly better than Sue's apart from wit which is the same and that's regardless of the fact that he's only one level higher but that's neither here nor there so uh, looking at Justin's weapon types looks like there's a sword club and axe and looks like Sue's weapon types are club, so I guess they can share those weapons. And bow, presumably. Okay, so that's status pretty much covered. Let's look at moves. They don't have any moves. Okay, it does say on the left there, magic skill up. Gives you two, plus two magic points. That's handy, I guess. Oh, hang on, here we go. Right, there we go. So, you've got level 1, 2, and 3. So, there's three levels of magic, presumably. And skills. So, okay. And it tells you the level ups there. So, you get a level in sword. You're going to get a point of strength. And two points of wit. Level up your club. You're going to get two, two hit points and one vitality. You level up your axe. You're going to get hit point and two strength. So, based on that, you might say it's a good idea to level everything up. Now, if you look on the right at the skills, Justin's got one skill called V Slash, which the requirement for knowing that skill, presumably, is level one in sword, which he has. So he has that skill. Now, I believe I'm remembering correctly, the skills are not weapon specific. So, because he's learned V Slash, he can still use V Slash, whether he's using a sword, a club, or an axe, doesn't matter. So, we've got five more unknown skills on there. Um, so, the next one looks like he's got to get his sword to level six and club to level four. And then he learns that skill. So, I kind of use that as a, a rough guide to, you know, level up. If I just went, all right, I'm just going to use swords. Forget club and axe. You're never going to learn any of those moves the skills so you've kind of you've got to mix it up like that and it also looks like you get plus one special point or skill point rather as you level up a weapon so just have a little look at uh, Sue's right looks like she knows a skill called puffy kick and rah rah and she's got two more hidden away as she levels up excuse me 
Okay, that's uh, moves. That's just an overview of your uh, skills and magic. Okay, well, or let's look at magic. Okay, so. Okay, that's give. All right. Okay, so moves is kind of more like what you need to level up certain things, presumably. And magic is not only your magic; it's your skills as well, and it seems to be telling you about them. So, for example, V slash costs. 14 special points to use so as it stands at the minute justin can only use it once without recovering special points or skill i'll try and say, i'll just say sp from now on you know what i'm talking about right and it down the bottom got a little descriptor my face is moved is covering part on the left but not too much we can do about that i'm going to tell you anything we see down there anyway so it's tax one enemy with a v-shaped slash doesn't really tell you too much about what that means. Presumably it's better than a normal att melee attack. We'll compare in at some point. Okay, so Sue's Puffy Kick. 8 SP. Attack one enemy by throwing Puffy. Okay, I am sure hope he doesn't mind that. And Rara, 18 SP. Restore some hit points to party by cheering. Okay, so that's a cure, basically. That's handy. So already we've got a bit of healing. However, 18 SP, that's one use. I'm going to need to recover a lot of uh, SP to have a second use. Okay, that's all pretty standard. Okay, we've got a quip. Now, oh, okay, so change or trade. I assume trade means swap between two people. So, for example, if I want to switch Justin and Sue's armor. I can just do a trade rather than having to unequip one, unequip Justin, equip it on Sue, and equip something new on Justin. You can just do that straight trade. So, uh, change. There we go. I assume I have no other items. There's no reason I should. Oh, there you go. I've picked up the uh, legendary armor, dirty apron, plus one defense. So pretty bad so this the uh slots are weapon shield armor helmet shoes and jewelry presumably accessory okay so minute it's got a wooden pole presumably that's the club plus five attack an ordinary wooden pole shield cut cutting board plus one defense smells fishy <laughs> um armor adventure clothes Plus two defense, common adventure clothes. Helmet, plus two defense. Oh, sorry. Helmet, goggles, plus two defense. Justin's favorite. Choose sneakers, plus 35 move, comfortable. Okay, so I guess uh, shoe equipment is more about move stat than defense. And jewelry, hero's badge. Plus two action, dad, badge worn by dad. So I'm going to assume that jewellery, the accessories, you know, it's going to have a variety of different things. Right, let's have a little look at Sue for a minute. Okay, so she's got a toy bow and arrow, plus five attack, child's toy. Shield, woolen mittens. Okay, so your shield could be a shield or... Gloves, arm, armor. Right, anyway, woolen mittens, plus one defense, cute mittens. Armor, Sunday best, plus two defense, Sue's favorite clothes. Helmet, ribbon, plus one defense, not much protection. Well, true, but I'd always take plus one defense over no defense. Shoes, dress shoe, dress shoes, sorry. Plus 30 action, itty bitty shoes. Well, Sue's quite on the small side, does that make sense? Jewelry, Mama's Amulet, plus two defense, Sue's emotional support. So she's got some jewelry from her mum. Now, emotional support, that almost suggests that maybe her mum's not in the picture. I don't know. Well, she's, I don't want to say she's dead, but well, we'll find out. 
Okay, so that's equip. Pretty straightforward. Items. Let's have a look. So you you don't go into an items menu directly. You click. It takes you to the characters. Let's click on Justin. Okay, so we've got use and give. So it looks like you have and discard. Why you would throw items away? I don't know. So you can give items. Give that to Sue. Cool. Um, again, you can switch between characters with your bumpers. And use item. Makes sense. Okay, so we've got wound salve. Restore 40 hit points. Nice. So we've got plenty of healing items to start. We've got two of those. Uh, Sue's got two of them. She's got a banana. Looks like cherries to me, but I guess that's the uh, <laughs> that's just the icon they're using for some food or fruit. Okay, restores 12 hit points. So pretty weak, but never mind. Sweets. Box of sweets restores 10 hit points to one friend. Variety, variety of sweets. Okay, so let that be a lesson, guys. Eating sweets, it might have some nutritional value, but a banana has more nutritional value. So you've got a choice of sweets or banana, eat a banana. Okay, let's... Um, let's give that to Justin to balance it out a little bit. So, now it looks like each character basically has 12 slots if i'm remembering correctly i don't know if this scrolls down anymore when you get more items i think you are literally limited to 12 slots or there at least there isn't an inventory limit so on that basis you want to kind of try and use your uh, crappy healing items first so definitely you're going to be eating those sweets soon no doubt okay that's the menu it's all very straightforward and intuitive it's it's clean it's simple i like it a lot you, you do get some uh rpgs and jrpgs that it gets not convoluted but it's not as intuitive this is really as simple as you can possibly get and i i like it for that a lot 